All right, we are live. <laughs> Welcome back to the New York Fit Reset program. My name is Adriana Lee, and today I'll be guiding you guys through a side body strengthening yoga flow. I cannot believe it's already February. This year is <laughs> zooming by so quickly. It's crazy. Um, anyway, <laughs> so our theme today is all about filling your cup. Um, as we do get into February, it's like this month of love and of ways to express self-love for yourself. So side body strengthening, finding like a way to be strong from all sides. Um, and then also slowing down and filling your cup is kind of our, our theme for today. Um, so we don't really need any props for today's practice. However, if your knees tend to get sensitive, grab a folded blanket or a folded towel or just anything to pad your knees with. But other than that, um, maybe just grab some water and put on some music that'll keep you motivated. And then we'll get started in just about like 30 seconds or so. I'm gonna give people a moment to join. Um, but if you are already on, you can start to find a comfortable seat. Um, and if your hips are elevated, then grab something like a meditation cushion, a pillow, folded blanket, yoga block to sit on top of so that your hips are elevated and your knees can drop down below your hips. Um, if the knees are up pretty high, that can cause a lot of discomfort in the hips over time. And we want to be comfortable for our meditation. So I think we are good to go ahead and get started. So if you're not already in that comfortable seat, go ahead and find it now. And if you're just logging in, you don't need any props today other than maybe something to pad your knees with if you tend to get sensitive. And then once you find your comfortable seat, either rest your palms facing down on your knees for grounding or up, symbolic of receiving. And if it's comfortable for you to close your eyes, go ahead and close your eyes. If that's not comfortable, gaze off the tip of your nose, just somewhere on the ground, and do your best to keep your eye gaze in one place. Start to connect with your breath. Take a deep breath into your chest. And as you exhale, keep the length in your spine, but soften your shoulders down your back. And this next breath, breathe into your chest again, but as you inhale, lengthen up through the side ribs, through the spine, through your sternum. And exhale, slide shoulder blades down the back one more time. And if you find that there's tension in your jaw, let that go. Our intent for today's practice is to fill your cup. Do the things that move you. If that means that you need to slow down, then slow down. If that means you need to change the pose you're in, then change it. If that means that you need to lie on your back in Shavasana and just give yourself a short nap, then do that. Honor what your body needs. When our cups are empty and we're still expected to give, we lose creativity, inspiration, motivation, and a lot of the things that make us who we are. And it takes a toll. So for today, maybe even the rest of the day, but at least for the next 20 or so minutes, check in with what would help you fill your cup. And so we'll do that now. Take some deep, nourishing breaths. And as you breathe for you, if movement would be interesting to add on, maybe add some little circles through the rib cage or pelvic tilts forward and back or even neck rolls side to side. You know what would nourish your body best, so honor that. And if it's stillness, it's stillness. And ask yourself, ask your heart, your spirit, whatever you'd like to call it. Ask yourself, what would fill your cup? What could you do on or off the mat? today, tomorrow, sometime this week, that would help fill up the parts of you that make you you and unique, that give you that creative spark. 
especially as women, when we are exhausted, it's really hard to get creative. And not just physically exhausted, but emotionally exhausted. And if nothing comes to mind, then decide to listen to your body today and let that be the thing that you, the first step towards filling your cup that you take. And place your hands together at your heart, making a little pact with yourself to take that first step towards filling your own cup. Take an even bigger breath in, extend your arms up to the sky, offering that intention out. And as you exhale, begin to twist to the right. Now keep your arms up, take a deeper breath in, find a little bit more length through the spine. Keep the left sit bone down, hold your breath now. And with the breath held, twist once again as far as you can to the right, maybe it's half a centimeter. One more time, inhale. Hold the breath, twist as far as you can. This time as you exhale, release your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind your back. Inhale, sit a little bit taller. Hold the breath for just a moment, maybe twist one inch deeper, then exhale there and draw your belly in towards your spine. Release out of that, inhale both arms back up to the sky. And exhale, take a little twist to the left. Now inhale, find a lot of length, get tall. Hold your breath, twist as far as you can with the breath held. Exhale there, keep both sit bones grounded. And one more time, inhale, sit as tall as you can. Hold your breath, twist as far as you can. And exhale, release your hands down. Stay in this twist, one more breath, deep inhale. And hold the breath for just a beat, twist a little further if available. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Inhale, reach both arms all the way up to the sky and exhale, lower your hands down, roll over your knees and come into a tabletop position. So if your knees are sensitive, you may, we're gonna be in tabletop for a little while. This is where you may want um, your padding for your knees. We'll start with cat cow. Inhale, drop your belly towards the mat, reach your chest forward and gaze up. Then exhale, round out your spine, draw your chin to chest. Two more like that. Inhale, belly drops, hug the shoulder blades together and down your back. Exhale, round out your spine. And last one here. Inhale, drop the belly for cow, gaze up. Exhale, round spine for cat. Beautiful. Come back into a neutral tabletop. Slide your right leg straight back behind you, but keep the toes on the ground for now and extend your left arm out in front of you. Um, you can have your palm facing in towards the midline or down, whatever is easiest. Now lift your belly away from the ground, lift out of the shoulder joint, inhale and exhale, lift your arm and leg straight up. Exhale, lower back down. Two more like that, lift and lower. Last one, lift and lower, good. From here, keep the right leg extended back. Left hand can come back under the shoulder. Now we're gonna come into that bird dog lift, point through the toes, and this time you'll extend the right leg out to the side, trying to keep it to the height of the hip, and then reach it straight back behind you again. Keep your core hugged in the whole time, two more of these, and then extend the leg straight back, nice and slow. One more time, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. And leg all the way back. Beautiful. Now leg out to the side. I'm gonna turn the other way so I can see you guys, or so you can see me also. <laughs> and extend your right leg out to the side, lower onto the outer edge of your right foot. And from here, curl your back toes under and sit back into a little stretch for the inner thigh and the groin. You might also feel a stretch through the sole of the left foot if your toes are curled under. Now rise all the way back up and press yourself up into almost gate pose, but not quite. From here, reach your arms all the way up, clasp your hands together, and then flip your palms up towards the ceiling. If this bothers your hands or your wrists, just find any interlaced um, finger position. Draw your belly in a little, press your hips forward. Inhale here, find length through the side body. And as you exhale, dip over to the left, so away from the right leg, and then rise back up. Two more like that. Dip to the left and rise back up. And one more, you should feel little shakes as you get lower and then rise back up, awesome. Drop the right hand down, gate pose, left arm overhead. Continue to press your hips forward. 
and breathe deeply. Exhale, maybe slide down one more inch. Good, rise all the way back up. Now right knee will bend into almost like a modified warrior two. Place your right forearm onto your right thigh and reach your left arm overhead into modified extended side angle. Now option here, if this is enough, keep your right forearm where it is. Otherwise we'll go for the reach with both arms, just getting a little bit deeper into that side body engagement. Inhale here and exhale, rise all the way back up. Both hands back down to the mat and lower your right knee down underneath the left. And we'll go back to the left side, starting with those bird dog lifts. Left leg straight back behind you, right arm forward, and maybe palm facing in unless that is uncomfortable. When you're ready, inhale and exhale, lift everything straight up nice and slow. Inhale to lower, exhale to lift. As you lift, lift your belly muscles away from the ground. One more time, lower and lift. Awesome, release the right hand down. Now bird dog lifts and extend. Kick a plan over. <laughs> I'll face the other way. So we'll lift the left leg straight up and then kick the left leg out to the side. And then extend, left leg straight back. Kick the left leg out to the side. Again, you're trying to keep the leg roughly at the height of your hip. This is your last one. And kick out to the side. This time lower your left foot onto the ground. Press into the outer edge of the foot. Curl your right toes under and sit back into that inner thigh and groin stretch. Deep inhale and slow exhale. And walk yourself all the way up. You can uncurl the back toes for more stability if you'd like. Belly in, tailbone down, reach your arms up. And again, you're either interlacing with the palms flipped to face towards the ceiling or just whatever interlace position feels comfortable for you. Inhale, lift up tall. And exhale, begin to move to the right until you feel your core shake and then rise back up. Two more like that. Find a lot of length as you move. Keep pressing the hips forward and rise back up. I love when I feel little shakes. I don't know about you guys, <laughs> but it makes me feel like I'm working. All right, release your left hand down, gate pose, right arm overhead. Again, hips are still coming forward, so we're not dumping into the lower back. And then reach. Deep breath in, breathe especially into your right side ribs. And exhale, maybe you slide down one more centimeter. Rise all the way up out of that and bend your left knee into modified warrior two. Left forearm onto your thigh, sweep your right arm overhead into modified extended side angle. Now either stay here, continue pressing your forearm into your thigh to lift your belly away from the thigh. Or if you wanna play with that reach, both arms extend. Awesome. Rise all the way back out of that and lower both hands onto the mat, coming back into tabletop. So just two rounds of cat cow here. Inhale, drop the belly, chest forward, look up. And exhale, round out your spine. One more time, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, round spine. Now from here, come back into a neutral tabletop, lower down onto your forearms. If your shoulders are kind of sensitive or you're building the strength, um, well, for everyone, go ahead and grab onto your biceps to get the distance between elbows apart you'd like. Um, stronger shoulders, keep that number 11 shape, palm straight down on the mat. If you're working on strength, though, clasp your hands together. Then walk your feet back into a forearm plank. Take a breath here. Exhale, push into your elbows, almost doming your shoulders towards the ceiling. Then start to drop your heels over to the right, back through center, over to the left, to the right, and to the left. Again, going pretty slow, there's no rush here. Keep that doming through your shoulders one more time each direction. And last one to the left. Rise up through center, release your knees down, hands under your shoulders, downward facing dog. Curl the toes under and lift your hips high. Take a slow inhale and an even slower exhale. And reach your right leg up to the sky. You can rise up a little bit onto the left toes. Inhale here. And as you exhale, kiss your right knee to the right elbow. Shift forward as though you're going into plank. Then inhale, kick the leg back up to the sky. Exhale, right knee moves across toward your left elbow. 
inhale, leg comes all the way up to the sky. And then release your right leg down, other side. Left leg up to the sky, inhale. Exhale, left knee toward left tricep. Inhale, leg back up. And exhale, shift forward to plank, left knee, right tricep. And inhale all the way back up. Exhale, downward facing dog, release your foot to the ground. Now from here, shift forward, lower down onto your knees. Now option to be on hands or on forearms, it's totally up to you. I'm gonna come onto my left forearm, but again, up to you. And then keep the left knee bent. You can kickstand the left toes behind you. Walk the left elbow a little further or left hand a little further. Extend the right leg back and reach your right arm up. Breathe in. Exhale, curl the right hand underneath the left ribs. Inhale, reach back up. And exhale, switch to the other side. So now right hand or right elbow comes down, basically in line with the other hand. You'll release the right knee down, kickstand the foot behind you, and straighten your left leg back. Then left arm up, inhale. Exhale, thread left hand underneath the right. Inhale, reach it back up. And exhale, come back down onto forearms first, possibly. And then rise back up onto hands, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. Inhale, right leg up into the air. Exhale, right knee, right tricep. Inhale, right leg up into the air. Exhale, squeeze your knee into your nose and with control, step your right foot in between your hands. From here, rise up into crescent lunge. Stay high on your left toes, straighten your back leg and squeeze your right glute. Inhale here, exhale, open your right arm back into an open twist, left arm forward. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, right arm back. We'll do that just one more time, maybe bend your front knee a little bit more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, find that open twist. And then from here, right arm will reach forward, left arm back into warrior two. And from here, we're coming straight into extended side angle by bringing the right forearm onto right thigh and left arm overhead. I'm just gonna switch around so I'm still facing you guys. So left arm is forward. You can spiral your pinky down a bit. And in a perfect world, you're finding one long line of energy from the outside of your left foot through the left fingertips. Just one more breath here. And then lower your hands all the way down to the ground. I'm gonna face the same way that I was before. <laughs> and we'll keep the right foot on the ground for just a moment. Plant your left hand down, then walk it one handprint forward of your right foot. Spiral onto the outer edge of both feet and extend your right arm up. Now lift your hips up high, inhale. Exhale, press through the feet, maybe lift another centimeter. Now option to stay here or possibly stack your right leg on top of the left. Deep breath in and exhale, release both hands down, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. Other side, reach your left leg up into the air, inhale. Exhale, tap left knee to left tricep. Inhale, lift it up into the air and exhale, step your foot in between your hands. Stay high on the right toes, rise up into crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in. Rise up high onto the back toes, squeeze the right glute, and exhale, swing your left arm back, right arm forward, open twist. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, open twist. Bend a little deeper into the front knee if you can. One more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, open twist. And then take the left arm forward, right arm back, ground your right heel down, left forearm onto left thigh, and right arm overhead extended side angle. Again, finding that one long line from outer edge of the right foot through the fingertips. Notice if your right shoulder is quite open and think of closing the armpit by sending the shoulder blade down and forward towards your chest. One more breath. And then you'll lower your hands to the ground, keep your right hand on the mat and rotate onto the outer edges of both feet into that modified side plank. Now option to stay here, lift the hips high, or maybe stack your left hand, or left foot rather, on top of the right foot. 
Continue to lift the hips high, one more inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog, both hands on the mat, send the hips up and back. Awesome. Down dog to fallen triangle. Inhale, reach your right leg up to the sky. Then exhale, tap your right knee towards the left elbow. Extend your right leg straight out to the side and reach your left arm up. Awesome. Now lower your hips onto the ground, keeping the legs the same. So you have right leg kind of straight out, left leg straight back. You're at basically a 90 degree angle and the right hand is under the right shoulder. So we're gonna do some lifts here. You don't have to touch the ground each time, but you can. So when you're ready, inhale to prepare and exhale, push through your hips, through your feet and the right hand, and then lower back down. Maybe you tap, maybe you don't, lift back up and lower lift back up and last one lower lift back up and hold beautiful maybe extend the left arm overhead awesome and then release both hands down curl the left toes under slide right knee back in towards chest extend it all the way up to the sky and release it down awesome other side so left leg up into the air inhale and exhale left knee to right tricep Extend the left leg straight out in front of you. Find fallen triangle. So you're on your whole right foot, outer edge of the left foot, and reach your right arm up. Deep breath. And lower your hips down. Awesome. So now we have those three lifts. When you're ready, lift up. And lower. Lift up. And lower. Last one. Lift up. And this time we hold, right arm reaches overhead, press your hips to the sky, feel for the left side body really working. Then lower the right hand down, come up onto the right toes, squeeze your left knee in and extend it all the way up, three-legged dog. Left foot comes down to meet the right. From here, slide your left shin forward behind your wrist, setting up for pigeon. So we'll come into a star-shaped pigeon, which means that both knees are quite bent. The back knee can be as bent as makes sense in your body. And then grab onto your foot. Inhale, pull your chest towards your toes. And exhale, start to twist. So you're almost reaching your heart towards your toes. Now another option here, if you have the, the mobility today, is to take your left elbow into the arch of your left foot, make a fist, stack your right hand on top, and then use that to help you deepen your twist. Inhale, create a little more length. And exhale, deepen your twist. Awesome, rise up out of that. Extend both legs out into Upavishta Konasana or wide-legged straddle. Place your hands behind you to scoot yourself forward a tiny bit. Inhale here. And exhale, right arm reaches overhead towards the left toes. You can either lower your left forearm onto the ground or reach it across your chest or across your belly rather, whatever's comfortable. Deep breath here. Exhale, reach, keep both sit bones on the ground. And then rise up and switch sides. Left arm overhead, right arm either reaches towards left thigh or you can rest it on the inside of the right calf. Deep breath in. Root down through both sit bones and reach. And rise all the way up and bend your knees to the opposite direction. So the right knee is forward, left knee is back. Deep breath here. And exhale, start to grab onto your right foot, pull your chest towards the foot. Option to stay right here or place the right elbow into the arch of the foot, make a fist, stack the left hand on top and use that to help you twist open. Deep breath in, find a little length through your spine. And exhale, deep in your twist. Unwind out of that. Come back through Upavishta. Extend both legs forward and then lie down on your back. You can either roll to your side, then come to your back or arms forward and come down slowly. We'll move into banana pose. So for banana pose, shift your hips just an inch or so to the left, keeping both hips grounded. Slide your ankles to the right, bottom right corner of the mat and option to cross the left ankle on top of right if you feel like you need more. Then reach your arms overhead and arc your upper body to the right. You can hold on to your elbows, your wrists, your hands, or nothing at all. 
Take some slow breaths into the left side body. And use your breath to nourish you, to bring the heart rate back down if it was elevated. Use your breath to fill your cup. And take one more breath on this side. And to come out, if your ankle was crossed, uncrossed, slide the legs back through center, hips and upper body back through center, and then scoot your hips just a couple inches over to the right. Slide your ankles to the left corner of the mat, arms overhead, arc your upper body over to the left, and option to cross right ankle on top of left ankle. Deep breaths into your right side body. And feel for relaxing your hips and your shoulders, letting go of any tension you don't need. Maybe your jaw is clenched. And maybe you exhale through your mouth to sigh it out and let it go, creating some space between the top and bottom rows of teeth. Last breath. And after that exhale to come out, uncross the right ankle, slide everything back to center. If you need any final poses, maybe squeezing the knees into the chest or just anything that would feel good before Shavasana, go ahead and take that. Otherwise, make your way into your Shavasana, either with legs extended out to the sides or for sensitive lower backs, maybe you bend your knees with feet to the edges of the mat and knees falling in against each other. You can rest your hands on your belly or open your arms out to your sides with the palms facing up. Listen to the sound of your breath. Become aware of your heartbeat. And remind yourself of that pact that you made with yourself. That promise to do something, even if it's just one thing, to fill your cup. Maybe that promise is something small, like every time you open an email, you take a deep breath for you first, and then read. And if you'd like to stay here longer, I encourage you to stay here for as long as you can. But otherwise, start to deepen your breath. And gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your head side to side, reawakening your spine. Take a huge inhale, reach your arms over your head, extend your legs straight out in front of you, pointing your toes, take up space. And then draw your knees into your chest and roll onto your side into fetal position. Use your arm as a pillow. And gently press yourself all the way back up to a comfortable cross-legged seat. Bring your hands together at your heart, sealing in your practice. Thank you so much again for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. My name again is Adriana Lee with Neora Fit. I hope that you enjoyed this class and I hope to see you on the mat again next time. Namaste. All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope that you enjoyed your practice and I'll see you again soon. Bye.